Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video, we're going to talk about erythroblastosis fatalis, also known as um, hemolytic disease of the newborn. This is a disorder that can affect the fetus if mom is RH negative. So any woman who is RH negative, if she gets pregnant, her her fetus is potentially at risk for this. Um, in order for this to happen, the baby or the fetus must be RH positive. To really get this, you have to understand RH a little bit better and how our body reacts in terms of RH. If a person is RH negative, so that means their blood type is either O negative, A negative, B negative, or AB negative. They don't have RH on their red blood cells is the key. Um, they will not make antibodies against RH unless their body is exposed to RH. And that's different from the other antigens of blood typing, by the way. If you don't have A or if you don't have B, you already make antibodies against A and B, and we're not exactly positive on why that is. Um, but there are antigens like A and B in the environment, in bacteria, um, and probably in animal blood. So you get exposed to things that cause you to make antibodies against, antibodies against A and B antigens, even if uh, you've never seen type A or B blood. At any rate, RH doesn't work that way. For RH, if you are RH negative, you don't make antibodies against RH unless you get immunized against RH, unless your immune system sees RH and reacts to it and starts making antibodies. So imagine mom is RH negative, fetus is RH positive, and we'll go through um, what can happen. In most cases, the first pregnancy goes well. So we could say first pregnancy, no problems. Usually. But um, during gestation, when the fetus is developing inside of mom, mom and baby's blood shouldn't mix. But during certain stages of development, there can be some of um, the fetus's blood that gets over into mom's circulation. And of course, during the birth process, which is a very traumatic kind of bloody process, as well as being the most awesome, wonderful process you can ever observe um, at the same time. But blood can be, of course, exchanged during birth as well. If blood from the fetus, from the RH positive fetus or, or baby gets over into mom, that can trigger mom's immune system to start making antibodies against RH. And again, it usually doesn't affect the first pregnancy, but if the mom gets pregnant again with an RH positive baby, that's more often the one that has problems. Because the first pregnancy immunized mom against RH and she now makes antibodies against RH, those antibodies can cross the, the placental barrier. Remember I said mom and baby's blood shouldn't mix, but it comes up right, they come up right next to each other so that baby can get nutrients from mom and give mom waste products. Um, mom's antibodies can cross that barrier and get into baby's blood. This is important, by the way. Um, any antibodies that mom has, baby also has when they're born because of that, and it gives them short-term immunity to protect them in those early fragile um, weeks of life. But in this case, of course, it can cause a problem. If, our, if baby is RH positive and RH antibodies cross and get into baby's blood, that can cause hemolysis, hemolytic. It can break those red, those red blood cells. So within the womb, the baby can be anemic or worse. It can cause spontaneous abortions um, or miscarriages. And of course, it can cause the baby to be born underweight and potentially to need a blood transfusion right when they're born in order to help keep them going. So it's a problem. So how do we fix this? This is what happens if we don't, this is what can happen if we, if we, if we don't do anything. And here's what we can do. If mom is RH negative, 
then at some point during pregnancy, and I'm not, not sure exactly when, but she will receive a drug called Rogam. And I like that they named it this because it goes along with what it is. Um, Rho, of course, is referring to Rho D, which is the protein, the specific protein that we're talking about when we say RH. So this is RH. And GAM refers to gamma globulins. Gamma globulins are what we call antibodies. Gamma globulins floating in your bloodstream, those are the antibodies. So this is kind of interesting, but we inject mom with antibodies against RH. Those antibodies injected into mom, those antibodies against RH, will literally mop up any of the baby's RH antigens and therefore shield them from mom's immune system, hide them from mom's immune system so that the mom doesn't become immunized against RH, so her immune system doesn't start attacking RH. That's what Rogram is and that's how it works. Injections of Rogam are given during pregnancy, um, usually around the time when there's a big risk for fetal blood getting into mom's circulation, and I don't remember what time that is. Um, but of course, during the birth process, there can be some blood exchanged between mother and fetus because birth is a very traumatic, bloody process, as well as the most amazing process you could ever see, probably. Um, but it is bloody, and there can be blood exchange there. So during the birth process, um, actually, just before or in the early stages of labor, they inject mom with Rogam. And then um, I think she gets two doses after the delivery just to make sure we get rid of any of the fetuses or the baby's RH that might have gotten into her system, again, to prevent the woman from becoming reactive to RH so that she doesn't have the problem of hemolytic disease of the newborn. So that's hemolytic disease of the newborn or um, erythroblastosis fatalis. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And thank you once again for watching.